What's the team bond like? I can imagine like all that uh, underwater communicating. Yeah. You build up like a pretty strong bond with each other. It's sure. it's a very close bond. Um, it's a really good support support network. And since underwater hockey is such a small sport within the U.S., almost everybody who plays underwater hockey knows everybody who plays <laughs> underwater hockey. Like we know people from. All around the country, who have played it, because we, because you meet them at tournaments, you meet them at uh, at clinics and such, and but so that's within the hockey community at large. But within the the team itself, it's a really it's a tight knit team, and we're trying to be even tighter now this year. Do a lot more like mandatory fun kind of stuff <laughs> outside of outside of practice as well. Yeah. So we've been we've been doing that more. And it's so. crazy when you travel with a group of people yeah. regularly, you mm -hmm. start to really get to know people because, you know, you're going to new places together mm -hmm. and you're doing this weird sport mm -hmm. together. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really great, builds a great team. We do at least one road trip up to Canada each semester. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's usually either to London, Ontario or to... Uh, Guelph Guelph College okay where we play where we play in a tournament we are not going to London this year but we're going to be going to Guelph this year and that's it's a really fun road that trip. sounds like it's yeah. so much <laughs> fun <laughs> yeah it's it's fun when you're in you're in a car with a bunch of people for about it's usually close to about 12 hours wow. including <laughs> stopping and such um, usually talking the whole time have and just having a good time going up and going through back roads mm -hmm. and going across the border and such. So it's a lot of fun. You get to see like the entire country pretty yeah, much. Yeah, essentially the... it's, it's great. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have one home tournament every year and then everything else is traveling. To right, that's awesome. We are in about a month, we'll be going down to Charleston. Sweet. This is gonna be the first time that I've been to Charleston and this mm -hmm. is gonna be the first time that a lot of people from George Mason have been down to Charleston. How can people become a part of the underwater hockey team? How much experience is needed? And when do you guys meet up? So um, people can really become a part of the team any time of the year, um, any time during the week. There's no specific like recruiting time. We generally try and be more, um, we have more events at the beginning of the semester, but we welcome people to come by and try it out at any time during the semester. Um, we have practice on uh, Tuesday nights at 9, and then we have practice on Friday nights at 7, and on Sunday nights at 6.30. Um, so it's a lot of practice mm -hmm. times. Um, there's really no experience necessary. Um, you don't have to know how to snorkel. You don't have to know how to do any of that. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. The first night I was like, the snorkel thing covers my nose. How do I breathe? <laughs> you know, but um, we have people there who are willing to show you how to do everything. Um, and like I said, you know, you take it at your own pace. So no one's like gonna be like, oh, you have to get the buck right. You know what I mean? It's it's like you come and you try it out and you sort of um, see how quickly you want to move or what you want to try next. And um, we have a lot of people who are happy to show you the ropes. They're held in the AFC Aquatic mm -hmm. Fitness yep. Center. Yep, in the competition pool. You can ask at the front desk if you're not sure. And they're free with anybody yeah. that has a Mason Completely ID? Completely free for yeah. any student. And awesome. for non-students, it's only five bucks. So it's really, we welcome anyone. In it's community. absolutely worth it. Yeah. And it's a ton of yeah. fun, too. Yeah. Would you say you're smarter than a comm major? <laughs> well, I think I'm a bit biased. <laughs> <laughs> well, Will here is also a comm major. So when we get back, we are going to play Are You Smarter Than a Comm Major? <laughs> 